What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. Uh, what's the day? October the 27th. Yeah, October 27th. So that's a glare. I'm, yeah, that sun is really bright. I'm in my living room. And I have the ceiling light on. But however, when it's really sunny in a room, it's hard to eat. The light, you could turn the light on and it's, you know, doesn't do much because it's way sunny. But um, I think y'all can see me. But anyway, um, how y'all doing? Happy Tuesday once again. And um, <sighs> right before I was going to do this video, um, I had some real tea for y'all, um, personal real tea for y'all. And um, I was feeling some kind of way, and I still am, but my, the phone call I got, you know, really excited me and made me, you know, feel a whole lot more better. But yeah, I always try to keep it real, keep it 100 with y'all. And I'm going to be honest, y'all, I'm going through something right now, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm going to get through it, and um, we're going to get through it, and um, that's just the bottom line. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a really resilient person, okay? And I've had a whole lot of stuff that has happened to me in my life, and I've bounced back from it. So the way that I think of things, if I bounce back from the devil trying to take three of my children um, by death, if, if I bounce back from him taking my husband, well, not, not, let me take that back. I'm, I'm not going to say he took my husband. Um, my husband left this earth when it was his time to leave, okay? As surely as you have a birth date, you have a death date. So that don't, that don't have nothing to do with the devil. But however, it, 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 to me, it was just like, okay, I'm sure that the devil thought that that was going to break me down and keep me down. You know, the loss of my husband having two young kids when he died so tragically trying to you know take my three children um by accident by car accidents cancer you know i told y'all my son for those of you who just tuning in yeah my son at 16 had cancer and then you know what three months after you know um he was in remission and did his last treatment and his hair started coming back then my husband got killed in a car accident so yeah the devil has been trying to chat, okay? And I'm I'm good, okay? Like like he really can't win. And that's why he keeps trying it with me. And um and I'm strong and I know that the Lord only gives his toughest battles to his strongest people. So sometimes I'd be like, "Do I need Lord, please, do I need to be the strong person? Cuz these tests and th these trials and tribulations is something. But it make me feel good that he trusts me with these t with these toughest battles. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people bring battles and I go to war, okay? Because, I mean, that's, that's, that's just how he made me. So I feel good that he trusts me with these battles. But sometimes they get to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really got to go deep into the toolbox, child, to fix some of this stuff, child. But, um... But I'm resilient, and like I said, you can knock me down, child, but you can never keep me down, okay? You heard me. You heard me. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I just keep it real, keep it 100 with y'all, because that's just who I am, okay? And um, so I told y'all I was going to come at y'all with a new um, series about um, I was married now, how to stay married, idea of the week that I used to do, you know, like a year or so ago, and I stopped doing them. But I said I was going to bring them back and it was going to be new and improved. Like me and my husband was going to actually come on here and talk about some real life life shit that goes on in marriages like our marriage. Not like putting our business out there. But like I say, my whole thing is trying to help the next um, couple, the next sister, the next brother. OK, that's that's what I'm about. OK, I don't give a damn. You know, when when you see me come on here and cussing and and, and, and and acting a donkey, it's because people have taken you there. And granted, you shouldn't let people get you out your character. But I have never came on here starting no bullshit with nobody. If I come up on this motherfucker cussing, some motherfucker then went there, okay? They didn't went there under my comments. They didn't went there um, by making videos or whatever the shit was, okay? I don't never come on here starting no bullshit with nobody. I come on here and I stay in my lane and I do me. So when if you ever go back and watch any videos, for those of you who are new, and you see, you know, me cussing the motherfucker out, it ain't me starting no bullshit. Trust and believe me, child. It, it wasn't me starting no bullshit. It was just me um, standing up for myself, okay, and letting motherfuckers know, um, child, you done balked up the wrong motherfucking tree, bitch. Don't even try it over here, okay, because I stay in my lane. This is my motherfucking highway over here. And uh, excuse me. 
Oh, okay. So anyway, other than that, I don't come on here with no bullshit. I try to come on here and laugh, have fun, do me, and, and give tips and help people, you know, with that shit. So that's what I'm saying. So that, 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 that new segment that I'm trying to start, and like I said, me and my husband was going to come on here, and we was going to be authentic, and we was going to be real. Like I said, sometimes we come on here, and we laugh, and we have a good time, and then sometimes it, it get real, and it get real ugly. And I ain't trying to make nobody believe that marriage is peaches and cream. I always say that. It ain't peaches and cream. And I and if somebody think that I got this, you know, this sugar-coated marriage, uh, I'm going to need you to change your thinking because I don't ever try to come on here and make somebody think that. If I, if I come on here with me and my husband, we do our level food, and we laugh, and we have a good time, that's how we did. But I ain't never say we'll never fuss. I, don't, I ain't never say we'll never agree to disagree. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't never say we don't argue and we don't have um, issues. And I don't want people to think that. That's why I, I wanted to start this new season session. So, yeah, we got a real life, we got some real life shit going on right now, okay? So, we're going to come on and do a video, um, because uh, I'm, I'm pissed the fuck off, okay? He's pissed the fuck off, okay? Now, we're not going to come on here arguing and shit. I mean, if it leads to that, look, I, I don't edit, I, I keep it real, okay? So, you're going to get what you get, okay? If, if we, if we on here and the shit is funny, we're going to laugh. If we on here and the shit get ugly, it's going to get ugly. Because I need for people to know. Because, first of all, it's too much, it's, it's, it's too much divorce out here in the world, okay? People get married and they don't understand, okay? When you get past the pretty dress and, 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 and you know, and all the people are, they all dressed up and happy and crying and happy and the flowers and sunflower seeds they throwing or whatever, because, yeah, you know, ghetto is sunflower seeds <laughs> thrown at a, at a wet, and that, that's me, okay? I'm ghetto like that, but anyway. No, but for real though, um, yeah, you got to know that, that, that past all of that happiness and past the honeymoon, child, you got to live. Okay, you got to live together, and, and it ain't always cute, and I don't want, you know, I, I don't want people to get the, the impression, I want to send out a true message about, I, I just want to keep it real, and that's why, for instance, okay, far as YouTube, like a lot of people say, you know, when, 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 when you, you know, you have trolls and all that kind of stuff, you should ignore it, you shouldn't even give them the time of day and blah, 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 and that's true to a certain extent, but I think sometimes, Sometimes you got to step, like Nika said, Lady Nika said, you got to step down off that first step sometimes and let these motherfuckers know where it's at and where it's going. And then you get back up on your chariot, as she said, and you 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 you, you do what you did. Okay. Now, I say, yeah, you gotta do that sometimes and you should, because it's a lot of people who look at these videos. And they get the impression like, oh my God, I want to do that. Oh, wow, that would be so nice. But no, you you got to know that this shit, like I said, if you don't have tough skin, don't come up on this motherfucker. I'm telling you right now. I'm just keeping it real, keeping it on. I ain't trying to sugarcoat and make nobody think that this shit is all peaches and cream. It's good. I love it. But at the same time, I, I'm glad that, that when I was only watching videos, two months before I got a channel, I'm glad that I saw people beefing and stuff because that let me know what, what, what I would have to deal with or possibly would have to deal with. Okay. So I didn't get on here thinking, Oh my, this is no, I, when I got on here, I knew that, that people, that people will troll your account and, and talk about your mama and talk about your husband and talk about your children and shit and point out all your flaws and try to bring your self esteem down. Like I said, I didn't come on here blind. Okay. I came on this motherfucker humble as, as a as a motherfucker, okay? I came on here humble my first year, letting people get away with all that bullshit. And then when I broke out the cage, them motherfuckers... <sighs> oh, okay, well, anyway, so like I said, it's good sometimes to come out here because you got to let people know this shit is real up on here. And if you don't have tough skin, this shit will break you down. I'm telling you right now, even if you got tough skin, you can still... Be penetrated by some of the bullshit that people come on your channel with. Trolls, of course. It's never the, the real people. Um, and like I said, because I, I watched a video the other day. It broke my heart. One of my favorite vloggers. Somebody that went over there and fucked with that lady. And I'm like, really? These some miserable ass motherfuckers. Really? They just hate to see people happy. They hate to see people doing something that they love. This lady, this was her outlet. This was her therapy. She have... Uh, uh, all kinds of issues, but coming on here helps her. 
you know, and, and communicating back and forth with people and people giving her positive, you know, vibe and, 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 and stuff like that and motivation and stuff. And they broke that woman down and it hurt my heart to watch her video. She was totally different. Like she, she was reserved on what she was saying. She was an open, real life vlogger. She vlogged her life. I like real life stuff like that. I don't like all that editing stuff. And I ain't throwing no shade on no editing. Don't even get me wrong. Because I want to learn how to edit for real. I like my authentic videos where it's what it, it is what it is. Okay. I, I, I ain't cutting shit out. I'm not editing nothing. I'm not saying that people that do not for real. I'm just saying. I like authentic videos where people don't edit. You just get what the fuck you get. Now, I like people videos who do edit. Of course I did. Most people edit upon this motherfucker. So I'm definitely not throwing shade on people that, that edit because most people edit. But I'm just saying, I like the authenticness of it. And this lady don't edit or nothing. She just, excuse me, she um, she was real. And I could relate to her. And, and somebody didn't fuck with that girl. And 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 then now she's kind of you know what I'm saying and 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 even was talking about not even coming up on here and doing this no more. And I know it's a lot of people out here. Sometimes I look at um when people comment on my videos and I'll go try to you know check them out and then I'll see that you know they used to make videos but they hadn't made video in like a year or something. And I and I would say to myself because you know I ain't trying to get nobody business or nothing. But I'll say to myself, well damn, it's been a year. I wonder why they stopped making videos. I see they still watch videos because they comment you know on my videos or, or whatever, but they don't make them anymore. And I'd be wondering, you know, did, did did somebody run them you know away? You understand what I'm saying? Or what what was the problem? I just be wondering because I know it's a lot of people that have been ran off of fucking YouTube. And I'm not, <laughs> that, anyway, I, I like what the fuck I do, and I don't give a fuck what you say, okay? You cuss me, and I cuss you back, motherfucker, okay? That's just what it is. Everybody ain't like that. Everybody don't have that kind of skin. Everybody don't want to handle their shit like that. Everybody handles their things different. People are, are more sensitive than others, okay? I'm not that sensitive girl like that. I'm not saying I don't ever get hurt by the shit that some of the people say, but I bounce back, okay? I bounce back. So... But I just hate that. But anyway, anyway, where was I going with this shit? Anyway, so I just keep it real, okay? And I just keep it 100. And my goal at this point is just trying to help with the marriage, with the people who are, who are married or the people are, that are in relationships that's looking to get married. Marriage, marriage is a good thing. And I'm not just trying to discourage anybody from marriage. I'm just trying to let people know this is not a joke. You don't just get into this thing thinking, la di da di da Nah, this, this shit is real. At the end of the day, yeah, I would rather be married, okay? I wouldn't trade marriage in for the world. But I got to let you know the flip side. Just like as far as, you know, new YouTubers, I got, yeah, this shit is all good. I love it. I, I love the people I meet and talk to, but, it, but then you got that flip side, and you got to let people know there is a flip side. And the flip side is you may have to come up on here and get motherfuckers together and let them know, bitch, please. You, you you might have to do that sometimes and then carry on with whatever the fuck you do on YouTube. So you need to know before you get on YouTube what you're going to get into and you need to figure out if you are emotionally stable enough. Because some people get on YouTube because they're not emotionally stable and they're looking for an outlet. They're looking for therapy. They're looking for, for feedback. And then they get on here and they get that wonderful feedback and motivation and stuff to, to come on here and do and, and be happy. And then some motherfucker, some some miserable motherfucker see that they happy and getting better and they try to fuck them up. So you can't come up on here un, um, emotionally unstable without knowing that <laughs> you're going to have to toughen yourself up or you, you're going to have to figure out some kind of way um, to, to get tough. Because this shit gonna even make you or break you. So I'm just saying. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not sugarcoating no marriage. I'm a human being just like anybody else. You can be married. You can be in a relationship. Either way, you can relate to problems. Because a relationship, a marriage don't just start when the fuck you you go down the aisle and say I did. Okay. If you think that, um, if you want them type of people like that motherfucker, what I ain't married to him, da, 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 da. and then you think as soon as y'all go get married next week, all of a sudden everything is going to be us. If you can't say we and us and ours while y'all in a relationship, you ain't going to be able to say we, us and ours once you get married. I'm just saying marriage don't start as soon as you say I did. If you in a relationship, shit, that's shit. That's called work. Relationship is work. 
and then you work towards getting married and then you got to still work and it's hard and work ain't always easy. So me and my husband is a work in progress and we still love each other. Yes, we did. But I'm mad as fuck right now, but we're going to get past it. And I'm going to show y'all a positive, good way to get past some things and don't let no bullshit, petty stuff break up your marriage like the dishes. OK, yeah. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.